We now need to introduce the money market and equilibrium in the money market. So we're first going to derive the demand for money or liquidity preference L. And we see that the demand for money or liquidity is positively related. We don't put the positive sign in, but it's positively related to income and it's negatively related to the interest rates. And in fact, when we plot a money demand um, curve, this is what we're interested in. We're interested in the relationship between liquidity demand and the interest rate. And we see it's negative. It's downward sloping. The lower the interest rate, the higher the level of, the higher the quantity of money demanded, or vice versa. If the interest rate rises, the quantity of liquidity um, demanded falls. Why is that? Because the interest rate represents the opportunity cost of holding money, cash, um, or liquidity. Because you could have earned, say if you put it in a fixed deposit, you could have earned a higher rate, a higher rate of interest. So when the interest rate changes, we move from one point, say A, to point B. We move along the money demand curve. If income rises, that's one of the things we're holding constant when we plot our demand for money curve. So if income were to change, the whole um, liquidity demand function would shift, say to the right, if income increases. Um, and how much will it increase by? It will increase by, it will shift to the right by K times by delta Y.